Hey everyone, my name is Ashley. If it is your first time here, welcome, and if not, welcome back. Um, and today I am going to be a little bit out of my comfort zone or my usual content, but I just love this product so, so much that I want to share it with whoever wants to watch it. Um, I am gonna be showing you kind of a review for some impressions or really why the G7X Mark III by Canon is the ultimate vlogging camera. So let's get to it. I want to start off by saying that if I sound funny, it's because I am super sick. That's why I have a ton of makeup on. Uh, but just getting that out of the way because I know that I'm probably going to sound super annoying. I apologize, but I really wanted to take this opportunity and film because with three kids, it's been kind of impossible. So yeah, starting with the review. Now, I have been wanting a G7X Mark II for a long time, um, but I wasn't sure if it was worth getting it because I knew that there was rumors about a Mark III coming out soon. So it's right here. I got it in black. They also have a black and silver, um, which is very vintagey and really pretty. Um, but I wanted to get an all black camera because my M50 is actually white. This camera is really small. Let me get my phone. So you can kind of see, um, this is an iPhone 10s. the difference in size. That's the monitor because I'm watching my baby. If you um, follow a lot of channels um, that do vlogging, you know that the G7X Mark II is kind of like the vlogger's camera. Everybody absolutely loves it and uses it because it's just a really great compact camera. So that's why I really, really wanted the G7X Mark II, but wanted to wait for the Mark III and it's here and it's glorious and I love it. Um, and I am not an expert by any means. I just really love um, cameras and I actually follow a lot of channels that um, do like camera reviews and I just love cameras. So this is not a super technical review because again, this is not my forte. I think that this is a vlogger's dream or at least a vlogger or a small YouTuber like myself. I think that this is the full package. I know that a lot of people are hating on some things. Uh, but if you're like myself, I don't think that's gonna be a deal breaker. So again, this is the Mark III. It's all black. It's a really nice size. It has a little bit of a grip so you can really hold on to it tightly. Um, it has a flip up camera, which is great because it's really nice to be able to see that you are in focus. The Mark II did have a flip up screen, but this one has been kind of reinforced because Canon noticed that a lot of people were holding their cameras from the um, touch screen display, which I would not recommend, um, but they kind of, you know, made it a little bit stronger so that it wouldn't break. Um, you can also kind of have it tilting down. So if you want to shoot something but you can't see, you can tilt it down and be able to see what you're shooting at. It does not have a viewfinder. This camera is obviously directed towards um, influencers. Not a word I used to describe myself, but um, people who do mostly online videos, um, vlogging and things like that. This is the camera they have definitely been listening to um, what people wanted for this camera and they made it happen. So first of all, this camera does film in 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second. It does not have 24, which is what um, a lot of people um, are complaining about because that's what's considered most cinematic and um, it's actually what most films are filmed in. So a lot of people are complaining that they took it out and that's what they really are gonna miss and that's why they're not gonna get this camera. However, if you are a relatively small channel like myself, I only do reviews and the occasional vlog, I don't think you're gonna miss the 24 frames per second. This also films in 4K, which is awesome because this is a tiny camera. Um, it does have overheating issues, which I have not uh, experienced myself because I'm not really gonna shoot in 4K, but it does film in 4K and there is no crop, which is awesome to have in any camera, especially a camera that is this size. I forgot to mention that this actually has time-lapse. If you um, like to do b-roll and slow-mo, this has 120 frames a second, which is so cool because you really get a nice smooth uh, slow-mo. Uh, I actually love that feature because um, my camera does have slow-mo, but it's in 720p and it's not my favorite, but this one does actually have 1080p and slow-mo, which is awesome. Another really cool update that they have on this Mark III is that they have a clean HDMI, so now you can do streaming directly from your camera. And no, it's not the cheapest camera out there and that's a lot of money. The only thing that kind of compares to it is gonna cost you over $1,000. It does retail for $749, just so you know, and it is a little bit on the pricey side, but I think that it's worth it because um, 
you get a lot of features in this little camera. So yes, you get the flip out screen, it's touch screen. They updated the um, processor. It's now the Digic 8, which is the same one that I am using in my actual camera. Um, but now you get it in this one, which is gonna make it a lot better. It does not, however, have dual pixel autofocus, which Canon is famous for because it's amazing and I have been spoiled with it because my M50 does have um, dual pixel autofocus, but this does not. This actually has um, contrast-based autofocus, which is good, not great, but good. Um, I don't think that if you haven't had dual pixel autofocus, you're really gonna know the difference. I love that Canon kind of has like a rugged material so it feels nice and sturdy. It actually has kind of like a record button like you maybe have on Instagram, like that red button. Press white on the screen and you can start recording, which is awesome. And also this is really cool because you can actually film vertical and post directly from your cameras to Instagram stories and um, for IGTV, which is awesome because you don't have to go into your computer and then flip it around and work in editing. Um, you can just film and send to your phone, you're good to go. You can also use your phone um, to remotely view what you are watching through your camera or send videos or pictures directly to your phone. But the big one, this is the best feature and why I actually went with the M50 in the first place is because the biggest complaint on the G7X Mark II was that it did not have a mic um, input, which most <laughs> compact cameras don't have, but they have blessed us with a mic input, making this the best camera for vlogging, in my opinion. Because you already had great quality video, but the audio, not too great. But now you can actually have amazing quality audio with your G7X Mark III, which is awesome. A lot of people are complaining that yes, it has um, a mic input, but you don't actually have a hot shoe or a cold shoe to mount your mic, but it's not a huge deal. I'll show you why. I actually got this little tiny microphone and the adapter on Amazon, which is awesome because you can just plug it into your camera and you don't really need um, to mount it on anything. You don't need any extra brackets. So if you are a on the go vlogger and aren't really into all the accessories, there you go. It's really nice and small. You don't feel like you are carrying a huge DSLR um, and it's just pretty awesome I really love it but if you are tight on budget this is only $25 and it's really nice it has great audio I have been testing it out and I really can't tell a difference and this is what it looks like on the uh, G7X Mark III so it's really small okay so this is um, a little bit of an example of what the G7X Mark III looks like um, this is filming at um, 30 frames per second and in the same spot that I was just on the floor because I have two neighbors who are looking through my window Stabilization is pretty great because I am shaking a little bit because I'm hungry <laughs> But yeah, this is the audio directly from the camera and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you the first Microphone. This is the Theramonic one. This one is $25 on Amazon and just tell me if you see a difference. Okay, so this is the Theramonic microphone, $25 on Amazon. I hope that you are hearing a difference and um, yeah, it's really tiny. It's great for vlogging and just popping that sucker right in. And now I'm going to show you the other little microphone that is a little bit more expensive, but I'm going to see if there is some type of difference. Okay, so this is the other super tiny microphone with the adapter um, and I'm just doing a little bit of a test so that you can see if there is a difference at all in the sound quality. You can't beat this, I'm sorry, but you just can't beat this tiny compact um, vlogging setup because you have great quality video, you have nice audio and if you just want a little bit of a, an extended reach, you can add a Manfrotto tripod. And that's it, you really don't need anything else. It's awesome. Really nice um, natural light and you're good. It also has ND filters for when everything is super bright. You can tone that down so it's not like super exposed. So I think that the pros outweigh the cons by a lot. Um, that's just my personal opinion, but if you are a small YouTuber like myself, I think that you are gonna love it. If you would like me to do a comparison between the G7X Mark III and the EOS M50, I could definitely do that. Just know that I am not a pro and I'm not gonna be throwing out a bunch of super technical terms because I'm not gonna embarrass myself that way. I'm pretty sure that Kino Tika and Potato Jet and probably think Midia, I'm sure they're gonna have a full review and it's gonna be awesome on this camera. So if they already have it out, I will link them below because they're my favorite. I just love this camera so, so much. The lens is really great. The aperture starts at 1.8, 1.8. 
eight, which is awesome because it lets a lot of light in, which will make everything look so much better. It has so much going for it that I don't think that the cons really are gonna be a deal breaker. If you want a G7X or if you have wanted a G7X, I think it's a solid choice and you will not regret it. I love my camera so, so much. And um, I have actually been wanting to vlog, but we all got sick, so soon enough, I'll have a vlog with this one. I promise. It's just an awesome, awesome camera and I hope that you enjoyed it or found it useful. Um, again, I am not a tech expert, so please don't crucify me in the comments. Um, feel free to correct me on anything that I have said wrong, but please be nice because this is not my specialty. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, show me with a thumbs up if you did or a thumbs down if you didn't. It's cool. And if you like this video or like any type of mama content, don't forget to click the subscribe button before you go and I will see you in the next one. Bye.